Hello Drive Tribe, Richard Hammond here. I wanted to give you a brief overlook of my motoring year ahead. Perhaps you'll share your plans with me on platform. For me, this year is going to be about, well, there's a bit of tidying and maintenance to be done. Various motorcycles, including an elderly SS50 that I've been rebuilding for about seven years. I'll try and finish it this year. I've also got a 1927 BMW that I had the throttle changed over from a lever to a hand throttle, a twist grip. I don't like it, so I'm going to change that back to a twist grip. And amongst my most pressing things at the moment as well, I'm just finishing off a 1933 Morgan three-wheeler. Had some issues with the engine when it decided to disconnect itself from the flywheel. Not good, but there aren't many moving parts uh, in that engine. That's going to be up and running very, very soon. My big mission with that car then will be to learn how to drive it, because it has the throttle on a lever on the steering wheel, along with the advanced retard for the ignition, and the mixture to richen and lean out, and it's a steering wheel. So that does mean that on full lock, your accelerator changes sides on the car. I've got to learn to be good at that. Also, amongst my vintage old bits of junk. There's a 1933 Riley Alpine Tourer that I want to get really good at driving. It doesn't need a lot of work doing. It's a non-synchro box and I'm just about there with it. So those are my most immediate pressing concerns. But then long term, there's more stuff. I'm trying to turn around all the things I've got. Electric cars are coming in. There's no doubt about it. And I will be going electric actually in the next couple of months. But more on that on platform later. Right now I feel very caring, nurturing towards all of my older cars, so I'm rebuilding things. I'm rebuilding a 12-seater Land Rover Defender that I bought as our first family car 20 years ago and then when I was completely broke had to sell but then bought back about eight years ago and it's now in need at a quarter of a million miles old of total refurbishment. I have a Jaguar XK150 um, FHC, fixed head coupe, that is just coming out of a total restoration. It's going to be absolutely perfect when it's done. We're wrestling with shut lines at the moment and that's going to be restored to its original mist grey with a red leather interior on black wires and I have a photographer in that trim doing the Tulip Rally in 1964. So that's coming out and then following that in will be an SK120 OTS, car I've always wanted. Um, I saw that JLR Classic restored one recently for David Gandhi and that's not why I've got mine because we're already similar enough. I don't need a car to tie us together. I'm agonising over colour and finish. I am going to resto mod that a little bit. Broad speed are going to bring it up to about 300 brake for me, which means I will need to modify the drivetrain, the brakes, everything else about the car to handle that. And I probably will ditch the Moss box in that one. I've left it in the 150. So that'll bring my Jaguar collection up to uh, 1962 E-Type roads to the 150 and the 120. So I will be properly jagged out. And I shall from then on be alert to um, a certain Mr. J. D. May circling with evil intent. Because for a long time now, for some reason he decided he liked my E-Type. He usually likes, you know, flashy, trashy, modern stuff, but he likes my rather beautiful E-Type. And his threat remains that he will simply deposit a piffling amount of money in my bank account without telling me, but with a note attached saying in respect of E-Type, and then precisely a year later take me to court to sue for his Jaguar, because the bank details will show. Will show. He paid for it. Where is it? It's not going to work, James. You're not getting it, and you're not getting the 120 or the 150 either. If I were to go after another Jag, it would be a Mark II, 3.8 or well, maybe 3.4. So quite a big year for Jaguars. If I were to turn my attention on James's garage full of tat. Um, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not big on Italian stuff generally. I do like his little 308. That is a really sweet little car. So maybe we could do a deal involving exchanging that for. I've got a car. I lose for that. Uh, no. I mean, I would be interested for a weekend in exchanging that Ferrari with my Lotus Esprit 350 Sport. I don't know why, they're not in any way similar. One's English, one's Italian, they're both V8s. So maybe on the grounds of that, I'd be prepared to try a bit of, you know, car swapping over the weekend. 
but nothing permanent. Probably worth a quick spot poll here. If you were looking through James May's garage and deciding which one you wanted, would it be the 458, the 308, the Mirai, the Tesla, the i3, or the Alpine? I'd probably have a cup of tea instead of any of them. But if you find you would actually like one of those, there is a link below to the poll, and you can take part and let us know which of his bedraggled old stream of tat you would prefer to have.